so let's go to create calculated field. And let's do it like this CF. W, W. Okay, uh, F is the true. False, because it's a conditional field and we're going to say what? We're going to say that. Relationship is. Child. Right. Dependent relationship is child. So now we have a conundrum. What do we do? What is the business object? Should we store this in the dependent business object or should we store it in the worker business object? Right? Let's try with dependent information. Dependent first. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I store it in dependent and if I have a true false condition there. Correct. Let's see if that works. So what are we going to do here? Because I the reason I chose dependent is because I'm going to filter it on the basis of the relationship. Write the relationship. The relationship is a instance, kind of field, and what is it all about? It says the relationship of the beneficiary to the employee. For example, spouse, daughter, son, etc. So I will have to do a frequently used in the selection list right. And what will be our relationships child right? That is what we wanted. Isn't it? Right. Isn't it correct? So we wanted the relationship to be child. So that is what? Okay. So we have created the calculation. Let's see if we can get it back in our calculator field. Yes, here it is. PFWW. True, false dependent relationship is child. So now we have filtered based on the relationship. Right, they're looking at only children of the worker now. Now will it give us the eldest dependent child? This particular calculated field. What do you think? Right, let's test it out. We don't have to. We cannot be sure. Right, let's test it out. Let's copy this calculator field. And let's go back to our report, which is basically details report. Let's try to. Go to custom report and edit. And right after. The worker's age. Let's include this new field. Still loading. Is it loading? Yeah, here it is. So right after the worker's age. Let's add a row. Now again, let me ask you this. Should this new field be in the worker business object or dependents business object? Where did we store it? We stored it in the worker business object, correct, because it's an ESI. Worker business object and we will call it as Eldest Dependent child Right, let's see if it is working. Run. Zero ten on two thousand. 
to 1231. 2000, click OK. OK, let's look at. Let's look at the data that we have received now. So for Logan McNeil. For Logan McNeil, we have three dependents right, Pat McNeil, Megan McNeil, Anna Kendrick. The return was that the report output that when the calculated field return. Return which one? Megan McNeil. Not Pat McNeil. You see why? Right, because that's the child we selected. The child, that's. The child is in the in the calculated field. Let's see, okay, let's see who is. What is Megan? Right, let's see what is Megan, just to make sure that Megan is a child. Okay, because Megan has a parent-child relationship with with Logan. So. Megan is Logan's child, as per the relationship. Let's see that, just to verify that we have the right information. Right, so it is Megan McNeil. This is a dependent. The relationship. Is child and related to which worker? Logan. Correct. The age is 22 years 7 months and 14 days right. So we have this information. Megan McNeil is Logan McNeil's child. Right, similarly Stefan Schneider. We did not get the information for Gabriella. Gabriella is 53. We are looking for the eldest, eldest dependent but not any eldest dependent, eldest dependent child. Right. So when we looked at the condition, we we added a filter criteria there. We said, that you have to give me. I mean, you give me the eldest dependent, but only if it's a child, right? That is what we have put in as a condition. Okay, understood what, what this works now. Now can we do one quick trick? Now, if I want to remove the records where we don't have a dependent information, can I filter them out? Very easily. How will I do that? Anybody? How will I filter out? The records where we do not have an eldest dependent as a child. Try. Give it a thought. Do I need to go to sub-filter or shall I go to filter? Uh, we're going to filter. Let's go to the filter filter. Okay, and let's add a row. Let's add a row, and what is the field? Let's look at fields on the report. Shall we be able to see the field on the report? Where is it here? It is right. Eldest dependent child and what can we say? What is the operator is not empty? Right, can we say it's not empty? Isn't it? So it will filter out the records. Only it will return the records where the eldest dependent child record is not empty. So all those extra records that we had which had like no dependents. So that will be purged away now.
right, our report will look much, much cleaner. Agreed. Let's try. Absolutely so. We only have nine items right. Our report is so much cleaner. So here we have Logan McNeil. Uh, and then we have Megan. Megan is. Megan is there. We have Stefan. We have one Carlos Serrano, which is Teresa. Teresa Serrano's child right. We have it. Absolutely so. Now, what are we going to do? We have some information now, but we have to take it to the next level. That is, we want to find out the age of this child. Right, we found out that Megan is around 22 years old to 22 years and a few months, but we want to show it in the report. And we also want to run a filter on that particular age maybe. Right, so let's see if we can do that calculation. So we have extracted that single instance, which is eldest dependent child. Now we have to find out the age of this eldest dependent. And where is the age stored? Is it stored in worker or is it stored in the dependent business object? Where is the age of the dependent? It's in the dependent. It's in the dependent right. So now do we want all the ages of all the dependents? No, we want the specific age of this particular instance, the single instance that we have extracted. We want Megan's age right. So that's why we will do, we will create another calculation. We will do another calculation, okay. And we will use what we call as an LRV. We are looking up a related value. So age of the eldest dependent child. That is what we are going to do, and where should we store it? The age is there in the dependent business object. But we are creating a calculated field in which business object now worker or dependent business object. Think about it. Worker, because we want the information in the worker business object, right? The information is already there in the dependent business. Object. We are pulling it from there, right? We are pulling it from there using the lookup related value. And what is the function? LRV. Okay, LRV lookup related value is our function. 